Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspies, CaseBreaks.com. Happy Friday, coming at you with 2020 Topps Chrome Baseball, 12 box, pick your team, number three from Jaspies, CaseBreaks.com. Big thanks to all of these folks right here for getting into this hobby version of this on a Friday. Thanks for spending a bit of your Friday night with us too. If you have a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that spot. So congrats to you. And who got, who got Last Bond Mojo in this baby here? Let's take a quick, quick look. It's important. Um, Brandon did. Brandon Tharp. Last Spot Mojo Angels. So we'll put that little star next to his name. Last Spot Mojo, who knows? 60% of the time, it gets a hit 100% of the time. It's the way it works. Yeah, that last spot mojo is important. It's important. 6% of the time, 100% of the time. Some good math there. We're going to set those boxes right there. Let's slide those boxes right there. Get this circuit set right there. So there's all 12 boxes, six on the left, six on the right. Two autographs per box. A lot of fun parallels. Good luck. Dodgers up 2-1, I think on a Mookie Betts home run. 2-1 over the Giants. Julio Urias on the mound. Ooh, that's got a sting. Will Smith caught one right off the mask. A foul tip and right off the mask. It's got a sting a little bit. What else is going on in baseball? You know what's crazy? Um, the uh, the Marlins won again. They're seven and one. They beat the Mets four three. Rays edged out in Tampa Bay. Rays edged out the Yankees one nothing on a late uh, on a late run scored. I think eighth or ninth inning or something like that. Uh, the Orioles. Whoa! What's see this? Only one card in there. Got shorted some cards. All right, that's Jordan Alvarez, though. Rookie Jordan Alvarez for Jay Remington and the Astros. Um, but, yeah, Miami to win the division. Probably, yeah, probably plus 900 if you bought if you bought a Futures in them. Yeah, I mean, if it's going to be one card, you may as well have a rookie card in there of, of a big prospect. <laughs> um, Orioles are 6-7, and seven, believe it or not. And they just beat the Nationals earlier today, 11 to nothing in D.C. Nats were four hit by the Orioles pitching staff. Strange times we're living in, ladies and gentlemen. My Dodgers up 2-1. Rockies uh, have the edge on the Mariners right now, 2-1, top of the fifth. Astros up 1-0 on the A's, top of the seventh. Padres up 3-0 on the Diamondbacks in San Diego, bottom of the sixth. In Texas, Angels bullpen melting down again. They were up 3-0, then it was 3-1, then it was 3-2, then it was 3-3, then now it's 3-4. Bases loaded in the bottom of the fourth for the Rangers. White Sox in Chicago up 2-0, top of the ninth. Reds up, uh, Red scored six runs early, and they, they haven't looked back. They're up 8-1 in the bottom of the eighth in Milwaukee. Royals up 3-2 in Kansas City on the Twins, bottom of the eighth. Bottom of the eighth in Boston, Red Sox up 5-3, and... This Pirates game is kind of crazy. Tigers-Pirates. I feel like the Tigers were kind of cruising a little bit. They put up six runs on the Pirates in the top of the seventh. After... It's a wild... Here, hold on a second. 
Look at the box score right there. It's a wild game. Two runs, two runs, three runs, four runs, three runs, one run, six runs, two runs, three runs. Now it's 12-12. Extras. Crazy. I have the financial, I have financial interest in the uh, Pirates, by the way. All right, first autograph, TJ Zook for the Blue Jays. Nick DeKramer with that. Nissan Diaz. So as you know, veteran comments won't ship, but obviously inserts like this will definitely ship. You know, die cuts like this. See the little pieces of the die cut that they didn't punch out? Little triangles right there. Die cut, Alex Rodriguez, Rangers. Lucas Gilo, so that, that will ship because that's a refractor. And obviously all the RCs will ship. That will ship, of course. That ships. Luis Robert obviously ships. Someone was saying earlier that, that these base cards are, are hovering around the $50 mark at the moment. And the refractors, which are far more short printed than those, are, uh, are hovering around the 100, 150 mark. So fluid market, but keep an eye on it. Junior Fernandez, Ryan H, who won the Cardinals in a team random. Pack break. Gets the Junior Fernandez autograph. He's on the board. I think the Tigers just scored a run. What a crazy game here. Yeah, I'll try. Tyler Alexander has been pretty great. The other night in a relief appearance, he, uh, he struck out nine dudes in a row. Crazy. Eugenio Suarez for the Reds. Charles Boggs with that one. All right, next box. Next one, good luck. No, Corey Seeger. I guess he got out, came out of the game, some lower body thing. Watch is Dave Roberts wearing? He's got a nice. That's a nice show watch. He's got that show watch on on the interview here. Omega maybe. Muncie turns on that one. That's gone. There you go, Max. That fun. That's right, Oliver. That funky Muncie solo shot to right field. 
I heard you heard that. You saw it right off the bat. There he is right here. He kind of finished like that. He heard it right off the bat. Yeah, that should get him back on track. I don't know why the Dodgers were leading him off for the first few handful of games of the season, but yard. Johnny Bench. I don't look good. And it's kind of hard to hard to hit one. He was it was like five rows or so up from the old seats, the old pavilion. So that that went pretty far for for a nighttime hit. There's Trent Grisham, purple autograph for Jordan Cohen, Padres. Twenty-five out of two fifty for the Friars. There you go, Jordan. We got Nico Horner, eighty-four out of ninety-nine green shimmer card for EA and the Cubs. Nico Horner is supposed to be a big deal in the hobby this year or next or soon. That's his rookie card. So is Kyle Lewis making a big impact already. For the M's, Mark Bissett with the Mariners. AJ Puck, black and white, freshman flash, Kyle Lewis. And Michael Brousseau, rookie autograph for the Rays, EA with Tampa Bay. Nice Chris Taylor looking good too. If this line if this lineup really clicks, it's unstoppable. Uh oh. Lower back discomfort for Corey Seeger. I don't like that. Corey Seeger is raking too. A's with the AJ Puck. I Capola. Alright, next box. Yeah, was, he he was hitting well over six hundred or six hundred the well over three hundred. He is I think his OPS was over 600, close to 900 maybe. He's hitting really well. Oh, Edwin Rios looks like he's healthy. He's got, he had like a foot thing, I think, but he's back in the lineup. Edwin Rios could send one deep. Ooh, he wanted to send that one deep. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Does it does, does Dieter still do organ for the uh, for the Kings too? I think they're different different parts of the season, so I think he does. I think he does. Okay, gotcha. So yeah. No, swings right through it. Strikes out. Um, I I, I like having have having Dieter do the organ at Dodger Stadium. I think they kind of did the. Uh, the previous organist a little dirty though. Nancy B. Hefley. I think she did the organ for like decades. And then um and I think they just kinda unceremoniously let her go. So that might have been previous ownership too, I think. 
or maybe it was recent ownership. I forget, but but I think they, they, it was kind of it was kind of like. Robert. Well, yeah, that, and if you read some interviews, she also says that I think she, she was she was kind of pushed out too. There's Matt Tice for the Angels, Brandon Tharp, Last Ball Mojo. I feel like I read that article. I'll I'll look it up a little bit later. Double O one out of one fifty on that first one ever made, Brandon. Andrew Heaney to ninety nine. And she didn't live that far away. She lived in Glendora. There's Andrew Heaney to 99. Just down the just down the 210, down the 110 a little bit, boom. Or the two. However you want to get there. Take service streaks too. There's Mike King. Yankees. That goes to Brian Zeller. With the Bronx Bombers. Lost a tough one today. There's Kyle Lewis. Gavin Lux. I'm going to try to snag as many of these as possible, but if I miss something just in the interest of time, it might be going quickly, but it will ship. Wow, Prim with some uh, with some next level stats for us. He took a look back, and Will Smith goes yard, two run homer. Um, the first box had twenty five packs. He said Prim four 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 four, saying the one card pack was an extra one. Good eye. I'll trust you on that. I believe you. That sounds that's cool. Thanks, tops. Ooh, yeah, to hit the top of the bullpen roof. Clang. Josh Hader, black and white, photo negative. You know what's funny is that is that I think in a normal like, if there were fans, you wouldn't really hear that clank. Think about this. This this would be a Friday night game at Dodger Stadium against the hated ones, against the Giants. This this would be this game would be packed. This this would be a sellout game, and there wouldn't be an empty. It's not one of those fake sellouts. This would be yeah fireworks afterwards. Brought to you by Denny's. This would be this would be fifty five thousand fifty six thousand people staying until the end, watching this. You're not hearing that ball clank off the uh, off the bullpen like that, which is such a weird weird sound to hear. Like you. You would only hear that during like batting practice or in like a on a Thursday afternoon game, like on a getaway day or something. That's crazy. But it would just be like lights flashing and the Venga bus playing. No, they don't play that anymore. <laughs> but whatever song they play after home runs these days. Crowd going nuts. Yeah, probably woke up a relief pitcher sleeping in the bullpen. Just the bullpen catcher, the bullpen catcher. Everyone has that guy. The 37-year-old career minor leaguer who catches. Yeah, 
Woke him up. Oh, is it Let's Go by Neo? Let's go. I'm talking to you. Uh, they, 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 they got songs. That song's obviously. Yeah, I heard Jeff. That Verdugo had a good night. I was looking out for him. Old Doogie. Good for him. Oh, Jock didn't like that call. It was a little outside, Blue. Umpire must have dinner plans. Um, must have dinner plans. He's just like, eh. You guys are up. Come on, let's go home. All right, let's keep rolling, folks. Next box. This is Hobby Pick Your Team 3. All right, nice. End of the fourth inning. Dodgers up 4-1. That's nice. And we got Shogo Akiyama, rookie auto for the Reds, Charles Boggs. 5 1. Dodgers are up. There you go, Charles. I think this is the first Akiyama I've seen. Yeah, I love the photography on that uh, Loriano card, him just stretching out. Wow, so the Tigers were up. Then the. They were up 13-12 in the top of the 10th. In the bottom of the 10th, the Pirates scratched back a run. And now it's 13-13. So much for the put the guy on second and we'll get the, we'll get the game over soon. Nolan Ryan, die cut for the Rangers. Well, it's good for me. I have financial interest in the Pirates right now, so... Uh, oh, Blue Shimmer, 74 out of 75. Cool Whit Merrifield. Cool Whit. Cool Whit. That goes to Robert and the Royals. Got the Royals randomized him in that team, a random, that one-pack team random. And Jake, speaking of the Tigers and Pirates, there's Jake Rogers' autograph. How's did Jake Rogers playing today? No, awesome Roman got the start today. This goes to the Tigers, Tyler Brenner. Did I see someone in the chat earlier think that Aaron Judge could hit 400? He could, I guess. Someone could do that. In a short, small sample size. Oh, did I pass a Luis Robert? Sorry, I'm busy looking at baseball scores. Did I? That was a yo there's a Yoel Mancata in there. There he is. I have to go further behind that. Got it. Yeah, Adam Baum, I got it. I got it. Might be lagging behind a little bit. Yeah, it's vet commons that don't ship, but variations are considered variations, so. Well, obviously, obviously, shit. Uh, Ryan Ryder with the Chicago White Sox. It's all those Luis Roberts that have been pulled so thus far.
All right. Good luck. Next one. If I happen to miss a variation, our, our team will be able to catch it. These breaks kind of take a while, so I gotta breeze through these a little slightly more quickly. Just because we got a lot of stuff going on tonight. Judge Triple Crown, Oliver was asking earlier? That would be wild. It's, I feel like it's we haven't even played a dozen games yet, right? It's still, still kind of early. No, we have, I think. I mean, let's 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 talk after the end at the end of August. Let's talk at the end of August. But I think the possibility of of kind of something at least average wise, not counting stats, but at least average wise, we can see some we could see something crazy like that happen in a in a short season like this. I mean, we've seen we've seen players get hot for like 2 months, a 2 month season basically. So We've seen players get hot for two months and just rake. Wasn't like last year, Cody Bellinger for like the first two months just went bananas, was just going nuts. I mean, he cooled off a little bit, but I mean, you know, so it's still, still MVP quality through the end of the season, but he was just on fire. Leafs won? Jason saying it was a crazy comeback. And Austin Matthews, OT winner. Ooh, nice. Pride of the South, Pride of Arizona. An American kid. Hashtag good for the hobby. And there's Jesus Lazardo. I think he had a nice start the other night, too. I Capola with the A's. That's right, Mexican American. 63 out of 150 on that Jesus Lazardo. Eloy Jimenez, Prism. in the puck. Jose Abreu and Justin Dunn. Rookie auto for the M's. Mark with the Mariners. Honus Wagner die cut for the Pirates. Pirates have one out. Oh no, Pirates did not score a run in the top. All right, they were the top of the eleventh. The Tigers just scored a run. So Pirates can score a run again. Could just go, it's gone forever. John means business to two ninety nine. Sean Maddock with the O's. Next box. I think I'm on a good track here. We're about halfway through this uh, hobby case break. Good luck. 
That's where you're going. Rangers still up 4-3 on the Angels in the in Texas, top of the sixth. In Oakland, tied up 1-1, Houston and, and the A's. Top of the eighth in San Diego, Padres up 3-0. In the top of the sixth, Rockies up 2-1 on the M's. My Dodgers are watching them on TV right now. They're up 5-1. So those are your currently current active games right now. And then, of course, Detroit in Pittsburgh, 14-13. to Detroit in the top of the 11th. But the Pirates are still, still have a chance to come up and tie it up or win it. it right past Edwin Rios. He was off the line, yeah. And I think Jock Peterson was leaning the other way. Was Jock Peterson in left field for me? Yeah. Yeah, the Slater's fast. I thought that was going to be a double. But Slater's speed, I think maybe Jock Peterson was lollygagging a tiny bit. And by the time he got to the corner of left field and tossed it back in, there was Slater st standing up at third. Gavin Lux, refractor, rookie refractor, and Gavin Lux, black and white, or photo negative, whatever you, whatever they whatever tops calls it these days. That's a nice one for Aaron Pettit. Got my Dodgers. There you go. And then there's the the refractors, obviously, far less common. And the rookie cards themselves, that's pretty nice too. There's Seth Brown for the A's. I Capola. Tungus. Kyle Lewis, 1985. Mike Trout, 1985. Ricky Henderson die cut for the A's. Luis Robert. Ryan with that one. Oh, sorry, Tyler Glass now. There's Brendan McKay. And we've got Jake Fraley, rookie auto, for the M's. That's going to be for Mark. 338 out of 499. Rafael Devers to 299. Will Smith had a homer tonight. Devers goes to Sean Maddock and the Red Sox. All right. Next box. Halfway through this full case break. 12-box hobby. We've got another half hour to go, ladies and gentlemen. 
Another 25, 30 minutes. We'll do a recap at the end, but we are at the halfway point. Gave up two runs in the top of the 11th. Come on, Pirates. Can't give up hits to Austin Romine. Who's coming up for the Pirates? Good eye, Bellinger. Good eye. Justin Turner. Ooh, that was close. Justin Turner. Oh, did it hit him? I was like, that's close. Justin Turner, I uh, I think the last hit by pitch he had, not, not the one just right now, but he set the Dodgers record. Um, he set the Dodgers record for uh, most hit by pitches. Seventy five hit by pitches, Dodgers record. It's crazy. Ted Williams die cut. And Brian Reynolds, blue shimmer, fifty seven out of seventy five. For the Pirates. Oliver with the Pirates. Nice photography right there. And Jacob, uh, Jake Wagyu's back, I think is how you say it. Blue Jays. Nick DeKramer with the Bluebirds. I I do remember the movie Mr. Baseball vaguely. Is that with Bernie Mac, maybe? Who was a brewer? No, that's not. Mr. S that's, uh, Miss that's Mr. 3000. Mr. Baseball is Tom Selleck in Japan, I think. Yeah, he goes that that's Mr. Baseball, right? I have a I have a, a baseball card of him with Frank Thomas of the Yankees. Wow. Yeah, that's Mr. Baseball. Yeah, that's Mr. Baseball. Yeah, that's Mr. Baseball. Tom Selleck, yeah, that that that's a classic. I haven't seen that in a while, but it's uh it's the classic it's the classic, hey, we're not so different cultures after all. Baseball brings us together. It was a pretty heartwarming movie. We're not so different, you and I. Kevin Crouch with the Dom Nunez. Kike Hernandez, the ump said Kike Hernandez got hit by a pitch. <laughs> and he said, no, nah, I don't want to take a base. And then I think they reviewed it, and they said, yeah, it hit you.
It's a classic. Jed, it's a classic. It's, that's why it still still probably stands up today. All right, looks like looks like uh, the Pirates are not going to make a comeback. Tiger scored four in the top of the 11. They're up 17 to 13 going into the bottom of the 11. So unless the Tigers just uh, just melt down, it looks like they're going to be able to hang on. It's not good. Not not good for me. I had financial interest in in the Pirates. All right, so that's an L. What about the Brewers? I know the Brewers lost today. That's an L. All right. I'm still on the Rangers. And they're still up by a run. Okay, that's good. I'm on Houston. They're tied at ones. I still have a shot there. Great shot there. And I'm on the Rockies. And they're up by three in the top of the sixth in Seattle. If I just win those, I'll be fine. Rookie of the Year. That's a classic baseball movie, Jet. That's a good one. I think uh, when I first saw Rookie of the Year, when I was a wee lad, I thought that maybe I could break my arm and become a Major League Baseball player once the, uh, once the tendons in my shoulder and arms uh, became like a rubber band. So me and my cousins... For me and my friends, I was my, my cousins might have been involved too. We're all big baseball fans. Uh, attempted to uh, break our arms by, by, by tripping on the baseball, just like Henry Rowan Gardner did. We were unsuccessful. I think, I think we only walked away with, with uh, maybe a bruised bum, maybe a sore hip. You know? We did not break our arms, I'm afraid. Thus went our dreams of having our tendons uh, grow back or snap back together like rubber bands, tighten up like rubber bands, thus allowing us to throw 100 miles per hour and uh, become baseball players. So. so much for that. And future stars, Ramon Laureano in the heart, Ramon. You got to aim for the heart. That goes to I Capola and the Oakland A's. Nice. Number two, 81 out of 99. I feel like he had a good chance at rookie of the year last year if it wasn't for a mid-season injury that knocked him out for a month or so. Mario and Rivera die cut. What's going to happen here? Freshman Flash, Luis Robert. We've got Max Muncy up with the bases loaded. Bases loaded, no outs. Max Muncy bloops one into shallow center. No, nobody, nobody does anything. All right, Max. All right, Chris Taylor. One out, bases loaded. What's going to happen here? Charge. Do it again. Oh, I would have done it a second time. 268 average, one home run, six RBIs. One for two on the night, single in the fourth, run scored. Kyle Lewis, he's also playing good ball. That's for Mark Bissett and the M's. Zach Gallen for rookie auto for Matt Subblefield and the Diamondbacks. There you go, Matt.
What are you predicting, Oliver? Maybe a bases clearing double? What about a goofy infield single? I like the idea of a goofy infield single. Sack fly, says Oliver. Okay. Josh Hader, orange. Nice. 11 out of 25. Wait, what song is that? Is that Tom Tom Sawyer? 11 out of 25. Brew Crew, Philip with the Brewers. Nico for the Cubs, EA. Trent Grisham and Mookie Betts. Four boxes to go. Chris Taylor with the goofy infield single? No. Well, was, was that a goofy? Didn't I call a goofy infield single? Taylor grounds one to third. They get the out at second. Run still scores. Almost got that double play. Edwin Rios yard. He's got he's got the power. I've got the power. Nico nineteen eighty five for EA and the Cubs. Someone else for a second. Mark McGuire die cut. Oh, I forgot that he was facing a lefty. That might be a little difficult. One and one the count, though. Also, it's only two outs. I say home run. Oh, swings through it. Uh, now he's, he's not getting anything now. Now it's just going to be breaking balls. There's Tom Eshelman, Sean Maddock with the Orioles. Got the O's. And Mike Trout, orange. Oh, a 
Ump wanted to go home. I think that was a good pitch. Mike Trout Orange, 15 out of 25. Brandon and the Halos. Not bad. What does that go for? That probably goes for like 100 bucks, right? And come on, Abraham Toro needs to needs to uh, use the use the canvas there. That goes to Jay Remington. A little off center here. Let's get that secure better. There we go. He's, yeah, he's got a. I mean, it looks like a decent signature. I'm not knocking the penmanship, but he's got to make better use of that canvas. I think. That's all. That's all. <laughs> Maybe something to work on in the off season. Yeah, I'm with you, Malcolm. Just got to expand that sig. Maybe something to work on next season. Uh-oh, Frank Thomas, you look sad. I feel like you should you should use eugenics, Frank Thomas. There you go. I wonder if you'll I wonder if she'll like it too. Ooh. So a 1985 Topps Orange Trout to 25 went for 210. So the what about a base Mike Trout should easily go for relatively similar more maybe? <laughs> it's easy. Have you guys noticed? Have you guys noticed the uh, Frank Thomas commercials, like the early ones, where he's just a bad actor? He's gotten better over the... I feel like he's gotten better over the years. So some of the later commercials, it's he, he's like a lot smoother delivery. But in the earlier eugenics commercials from like a couple, two or three years ago, like his It's Easy was a little too aggressive. was like, it's easy. And you're like, okay, Frank, I get it. Yeah, it's easy. It's easy. But now he's a lot more, he's a lot more chill, a lot more comfortable. Yeah, the, yeah the, that actually that one's actually pretty good too. The Doug Flutie and the Andy Van Slyke one. Like, what are they? Do they really hang out? I mean, they're in the, each other's commer in commercials, but yeah, Frank's chilling those. He's just he's like he's like accepting an award. He goes off stage, you know. And they're just like Doug, Andy. What's going? Frank Thomas and Andy Van Slyke's career may have. May have dovetailed. I could see them being friends. Like Frank Thomas and Doug Flutie? Doug Flutie just got on, got on the gravy train. He was just like... But the cutaways are great. You got Doug Flutie with a surfboard brushing his hair back as he's running out of the water. That's a great shot. Um, and then like Andy Van Slyke doing rope drills and stuff. Ooh. <laughs> Andy Van Slyke... Man... You still got it. <laughs> it's a pretty great commercial. <laughs> it's a good commercial. And there you go. There's Jalen Davis making good use of the canvas right here. Giants. That goes to Ike Apollo. Kyle Lewis, Mariners, Mark Bissett. And an orange Anthony K autograph. That goes to Nick with the Blue Jays.
Anthony K. Seven out of twenty-five. Remember K from uh from Godfather? And Logan Allen to ninety-nine. Remember K from the Godfather? Come on, Michael. Presidents and senators don't have anyone killed. Now, who's being naive now? That's a great line from Godfather 1. And Logan Allen to 99. Sub Rex. K asking Michael if it's true. Michael Corleone's like, don't ask me about my business. All right, and he goes like, all right, all right. Now, one, one time, one time, K. I'll let you ask me about my business. And he goes, she goes, is it true? No. Looks her right in the eye. No. There's Miguel Cabrera. First ballot, HOF, right? Miguel Cabrera? He's got a lifetime 315. He's got 400. He could use some, he could hit, if he gets to the 500 mark, that'd be great. And he'll get 3,000 hits, right? Eventually. Yeah. First ballot? Because he'll have, I think he'll finish his career lifetime 300. He'll have the 500 home run threshold, and I think he'll have 3,000 hits. I mean, that's first ballot Hall of Fame. MVPs, triple crowns on his resume. Does he have a, ooh, does he have a ring on his resume? Oliver says yes. Marlins? Marlins, right. He's got a ring to how did he play in that? Yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah, first ballot HOF. Right, yeah. He was the hot rookie with Levon Hernandez, right? And then who can forget Dontrell Willis? Man, he was electric. He was electric. When Dontrell Willis came on the scene, I'll bet everyone attempted like his wacky windups and everything, right? The D train. I think. Now listen. The Dodgers logo is the most iconic logo next to the Yankees logo, maybe the most iconic logo in baseball. You don't have to mess with that. You don't have to mess with the classics, right? The Detroit logo is classic. You know, the I like that the Angels brought back the uh, the halo on the A logo. Though that's a classic. Red Sox B classic, right? I think the, I thought that Florida F with the Marlin in, yeah, Cubs, Reds. You got some classic I think a modern classic, that Florida Marlins F, right? The F with the Marlin curled into it. Ooh, I thought that logo was fire. I wish they just never went away from that. I wish they would have just stayed Florida Marlins. The, you know, and I think that that was Dontrell Willis era, I want to say, had that... Had that F right there, the black F. Maybe they had some teal in there somewhere, a line, tiny bit, some silver in that. Man. Thought that was a good logo. Jeff Conine on that team too. Speedy Juan Pierre was on that team. Yeah, man. I mean, there are a lot of classics in baseball, but yeah, that... uh. That Florida F, I thought was really awesome. I don't remember the Rockies original one as much. Was that was that one good? That Florida one always stuck with me though. I think they. Uh, what about the M Mar Mar Marlins Mar Mariners Mariners should bring back the uh, I think the Trident. I think they should bring back the Trident. All right, and we've got Blue Jays. Anthony K, another K. Nick DeCray, I don't have any more K quotes from Godfather, sorry. That's all I had. There's Patrick Corbin. 
Nine out of 50 gold. Yeah, Trident. Get the Trident. Bring the Trident back. We got Orioles fans in here, or uh, Mariners fans in here. Bring the Trident back. Kyle Lewis, Mariners. Speaking of the Mariners. Although this this, this uniform right here is classic. I like the, the yellow S is pretty classic too. And I do like that as a modern touch. The the compass rose or whatever that whatever you want to call that, that. I feel like is a is a is a nice one too. I'm glad the Brewers are back to the ball and in, in glove look. Everyone knows I only learned this until recently. Recently, as in, oh, you, Will Smith almost went yard again. I only learned this like maybe five, seven years ago, that that is an M and that's a B. Milwaukee Brewers, the glove. I only learned that recently. And I'm like 65 years old. I only just learned that recently. If you just learned that recently, impress your friends with that knowledge. There's James Marvel, Captain Marvel, going to Oliver and the Pirates. There you go, Oliver, you're on the board. Are the Expos the same? The M, the I don't, I don't, I can't really see the Expos logo in my head right now. There's Hank Aaron. Last box coming up, man. I am, I am running out of steam, you guys. But, but Sean is coming up after me, so. So he'll be able to take over the new arm, fresh arm from the bullpen, Sean. Fresh arm from the bullpen. Sean, have you had dinner? Oh, Sean's dinnered up. He's he's fueled up. He's ready to go. Wow, he crushed, crushed some sushi rolls and whatnot. I don't think so, Ben. Yeah, it might be on your end. I, re I just refreshed the website. It looks good to me. I like how Spectrum, uh, the, the Dodgers network, Spectrum Sportsnet LA, I like that they don't bleep. It's it's a cable channel, so they don't bleep out the curse words. Like if you watch like TNT broadcasts or the ABC broadcasts of like basketball games and you hear like basketball players just MFing each other left and right, right? Like you hear like long muted delays. This, you know how many times I've heard Cody Bellinger like swing and miss and he's just like F. <laughs> But he says the whole word. F. What's being delayed, Rex?
Oh, I see. They still have to have cash flow, though. As a business, they can't just stop producing stuff. They should have planned for those mags. Uh, oh, well, look at this. Travis Lakins. Did he, did he use the wrong pen? Everyone else signs in blue ink. He looks like he's shining with a, sar a Sharpie. A rogue Sharpie. 48 out of 50. Is this an actual autograph? Yeah, Tom's autograph card witnessed and blah, blah, blah. It was witnessed by somebody. Huh. Well, there you go. Um, Sean Maddock with the Boston Red Sox here in Pick Your Team. I don't know. It, this really surprised me. All the other autographs are in blue. Bobachette Green. Four out of 99. Nice. Two Bobachettes in a row. Both going to Nick and the Blue Jays. Yeah, it kind of does look like that, Rex. Like, like he was at a ballpark and he's like, "Give me your sharpie, kid." Mike Trout, Dica, I might as well. I mean, if that orange twenty-five goes for however much, this die cut might go for like hundred bucks. His autos are like that from what you saw in other breaks? <laughs> yeah, Gilo. It's like a real facsimile autograph. All right, so I guess he was consistent. There's Kyle Lewis. We've, I've, uh, I've been in the presence of a Topps rep when someone's signing cards. And it's not like they're like hovering over your shoulder. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I wonder if the rep was like, no, 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 that was the wrong pen. Ah, oh, well, we don't have any more of those cards. We got to ship it anyway. There's a refractor, Mark Bissett, Mary. We gotta, I guess this is how it's going to go. Or maybe the Topps guy accidentally gave him the wrong pen. It's like, no, 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 that's, we were supposed to use the blue one. <laughs> All right, there you go. There's Willie. Yeah, a lot of times they're just getting it in the mail and sending it back. Willie Castro, Tigers. That's going to go to Tyler Brenner. We didn't find that Tyler Alexander, Tyler Brenner, but we'll find him next time. There's another Kyle Lewis. Gavin Lux, Mike Yastrzemski, Raisel Iglesias, Bailamos. Let the rhythm take you over by La Mos. I don't think he's part of that Iglesias family, but in my head, I'd like to think so. All right. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was 2020 Topps Chrome Baseball, brand new release, hobby case, 12 box, full case, picker team number three. Here's a quick little recap. <laughs> that cracks me up. Everyone else is blue ink autos. There you go. There, orange trout. Different variation from the old rainbow trouts that we can fish for. There you go. Some nice stuff there. Nice Roberts there. Nice Lewis's. Matt Tice. Freshman flashes. Some color. Some Roberts. Some TJ Zooks at the end. There you go. Nice hobby case. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. we got more in the store. Check it out, and we'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.